Now, y'all, I really hope I don't look ghostly. Y'all don't... I'm gonna upload the video, and y'all better not say, oh my gosh, she looks like a ghost. What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Kelly, and I'm back in again with another video for y'all. I'm happy to Look, y'all, don't mind the background. I'm going to try to, like, get it out as much as possible. But don't mind the background. Don't mind any background noise. We're in a different scenery, y'all. We're in a different scenery. And that's because, I don't know, I want my vanity, be, vanity to be upstairs and not downstairs with my quote-unquote desk. So professional. You know, everything laid out, period. And this was because I just came back out of town, but don't mind my clothes over there. But yes, this is the little setup. Don't mind the clothes. Don't mind the clothes, baby. Don't mind the clothes. Okay. But yeah, this is my little setup, and there's my questions. Let's get into it. I feel better now. I just tied it up a little bit. But anyways, let's not prolong the video. So um, today's vlogmas video is. Uh, a Q and A while I do my makeup because I I can't just sit and talk at the camera. I can, but it's gonna be like so such and such and such such and such 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 and such such. Like I have my questions. I wrote them all down. Every single one that was asked to me, I wrote it down. We might as well just go ahead and get into it. And to start off, you always want to start with a clean face. Um, I already washed my face for today, and I have to do my night routine. I don't want to like. OD my face. Um, so I'm just gonna go in here with some witch hazel. Yeah, it's probably drying and all of that, but for video's sake, you know, normally you would do this on a face a clean face and you wouldn't use this. But for video's sake today. And somebody on TikTok asked me to do um an eyebrow tutorial, so so I think I might leave y'all for TikTok just for a little little while. Uh -huh. so let's just get into the questions period so these are some really good questions and i love that i'm not a messy person because i don't have messy questions like i feel like messy questions really would have pissed me off and i'm gonna keep it real like y'all could have asked whatever y'all could ask whatever and i'm gonna answer it i don't care period go in with my power grip primer always prime your face yeah. First of all, let me just give y'all an introduction. Hi, my name is Michaela. Michaela the Brat, period. Um, I am 21. I am a licensed cosmetologist, full-time entrepreneur, lash tech, content creator, and hair influencer. Period. And that's who I am. So what made you want to do lashes um during covid when school shut down and everything i was in my 11th grade year so march 2020 was my 11th grade year of school and i really was bored at home like we still had cosmetology school but it was online that was very boring um and i don't i really don't know what happened uh i had been like looking into it and i love just I love all, like ever since a kid I've always loved things all things beauty. Why am I stuttering so bad? Um and I watched the video and like I just stumbled across this video on like how to do eyelash extensions. And it just looked very intriguing to me. So I started watching more and more videos and I was like, okay, I actually like this. So I had um ordered me a little kit off of Amazon. And then um i had a little you know i ran into some money and i found a class and took it and that's how i started doing lashes so what made me want to do them i don't know it just looked fun and i love all things beauty and it was really just knowing like knowing that i can transform somebody like i can boost somebody's confidence like this because eyelashes aren't supposed to take away from your face they're supposed to just enhance your natural beauty and just seeing people like oh my gosh like feel themselves after they get their lashes done it just made me feel nice and bubbly on the inside yeah i'm gonna come back to y'all i'm gonna go to tiktok real quick 
Yeah, I'm back. And yes, I have eyebrows. Um, actually, I'm gonna use some eyebrows, but it's just this. And I'm just gonna order so that this is in shade tawny and with this a concealer brush and my foundation in that shade. Period. Um, so let's get into the next question. When did you know you wanted to be an entrepreneur slash what made you want to be a what made you want to start your own business? Um, that's a good question. Um, so what made me want to be, well, let me say, when did you know you wanted to be an entrepreneur? Um, I kind of always wanted to like, like I said, I always wanted to be in the beauty industry. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get me a salon, da 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 stuff like that like I kind of always knew I wanted to when I wanted to be an entrepreneur but it really clicked for me when I was working at Chick-fil-a it was my very first job so keep that in mind y'all very 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 first job um at 15 years old and it was a pretty cool job for like the most part until it wasn't no shade on Chick-fil-a no shade to any of my co-workers the co-workers was the best, like, the co-workers just love me, the job. But, um, and I hope y'all don't do too much, because, yeah, I know my concealer light, but, oh, well. So, um, I was at Chick-fil-A, and it was just, like, one day. I'm going to just keep it real. I knew when I was working there that I didn't want to take orders from nobody else. I knew that I didn't like doing uh, I didn't like being told to do things that the people who were telling me to do it weren't doing it themselves. Um, it just gave very much slave. Like, I don't know. I hate to say that, but I just didn't. It just didn't sit right with my soul. Like, seriously, it didn't, it didn't sit right with my soul. So, I kind of always knew. And from there, from there, it was just like, okay. I know I'm going to be in the beauty industry, and I've always loved hair, but at the time, I was 15, so I'm like, I got to start doing something. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, and then I... Oh, another question was, how did you get into lashes? Um, lashes. I got into lashes because I had always seen, like, in high school, I had always seen girls wear lashes, and... I could never put on strip lashes, like, ever. I would buy some and be like, mm, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn. And I really just could not get it. And during spring break, one day, I was like, I'm gonna get this. I went to Sephora and I bought an $8 pair of lashes. This was, like, 2018, early 2019. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I bought an $8 pair of, dollar, $8 pair of lashes and I was determined to put them on. Um, I put them on like I think the first or second day of spring break and I just felt like that girl like I just felt like the baddest in the world y'all and I'm like Ugh, I love this I love this feeling period and not at the same time but on top of that on top of me already knowing I didn't want to work for nobody else and just feeling how I felt when I was when I got them lashes on and the way it boosted my confidence I was like, if I sell lashes, I can make girls all over the world feel like this. And that's how I got into lashes. So I actually started off selling strip lashes. Next question. When did you know it was time to give yourself slash life to Christ? This is a very good question. And for y'all that don't know, yeah, I'm faith-based, period. Don't play with my God. Um... Let me see. Uh, I kind of always, like, I grew up in church, and I had been gave my life to Christ at a very young age. And I'm going to just keep this question short. I had, it was a lot of things. Like, I started seeing a lot of things in the world go crazy. And what started it was COVID. Um, the Bible talks about things that has, to, that has to happen before God comes back. And uh, epidemic, I think that's what the Bible says, an epidemic or a pandemic, one of them, whatever, COVID 
th that was it. Like, one of those things had to take place for God to come back. And I have been new, like, okay, like, you know, you in high school, you doing high school things, and you, like, one of them lukewarm Christians. That's what I was. And I kind of knew it was, kinda, like, I don't know. COVID really just, like, opened my eyes for a second. And I didn't, you know, answer the calling right then and there. Uh, I kept... Like, you know, kept living life. And it was certain things I just didn't do because I just wasn't raised to do it. But, um, you know, I'm living life as a high schooler. And uh, I didn't really, like, I gave my life back to Christ. You can give your life back to Christ, like, every day if you want to. I feel like I'm rambling. But I knew it was time because I just kept, like, I just felt wrong and yucky whenever I did something against god's will that i knew was against his will and the bible says if you if you know if you do wrong knowing you ought to do right you're sinning against yourself so basically i was just sinning real bad and yeah i was like you know what that's it and then my granddad passed and it's only because of jesus it's only because of god it's only because of jehovah it's only because of him up there it's only because of him that i'm still here because when i lost my granddad i felt like i lost my lost myself and i don't really speak about that but it's the truth when i when i lost my granddad i felt like i had lost myself so that's that and i just um i was at a conference i was at a, a youth conference and i just knew that it was time for change like i was like lord i'm not running no more i'm not like I just knew I, I stopped doing, you know, worldly things. And it's not in an instant, but it was very, 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 like, sudden for me. It was sudden. You know, you still struggle with things, but I was like, I don't care what I struggle with. Because if God come back right now, where I was at the time, I wouldn't be going to heaven. And I won't play with that. <laughs> I'm not going to play with that man up there. Okay, so yeah, that was when I knew it was time to give my life to Christ or give it back to him because I had been giving it to him a, a long time ago. But yeah, where do you see yourself in the next year with your business? I definitely see myself like slaying wigs, doing lashes, teaching classes. I I, I see myself getting flu, flued out. I see myself getting flown out, flued out. I'm going to say flued out because that's just... Yeah, I see myself getting flued out. Um, I see myself doing like celebrity lashes. I see myself doing. Where is the concealer? I see myself doing celebrity lashes. I see myself getting flued out. I see myself being like a full time content creator. I mean, that's what I am now because I'm a full time entrepreneur and content creating is entrepreneurship. So, um, but I also see myself like. I'm, I'm going to have my own brand, like my own line of products. You know, I try to keep it silent. I try to keep it silent because the enemy is always out to steal, kill, and destroy. So we're not going to talk about nothing too, you know, too big. Something that's not already in the works. But I definitely do see myself like seven, eight figures. Definitely some six-figure months. Definitely some six-figure months. Definitely. Um, I don't know, that's conversation. Kind of um, it works sometimes, but I don't want to be flat, so. Oh, that was good, but it's good, but. Okay, now, let me see. Oh, yeah, I see myself flute out. Definitely way more wig deals. Definitely way more content stuff. Like, I see big things for me. But I definitely see me having multiple, multiple, multiple strains of income within the next year. And that's starting today. Today, okay? Faith quote, you will forever live by and why? I'm kind of mad I didn't look this up before I... Uh, I'm kind of mad I didn't look this up before I answered it because I don't know. That's a very, very great question. That's a very great, great question. Like, y'all ain't down on these questions. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all definitely get down on these questions. Um, we gonna come back to that. We gonna come back to that. What made you get into hair? Um, now don't go tell lashes this, but 
hair's always been my first love. Ever since a little girl, hair's always been my first love. I can't corn roll to save my life, but hair's always been my first love. Um. Yeah, hair's always been my first love. Like wigs, all of that. Like I, I took the video down. Y'all can't see it, but when I first started YouTube, mad years ago. Um, I had actually won some bundles from this hair company and I did a whole review on it and I made a whole wig. Like I made a whole wig, y'all. I made a whole wig. So what made me get into hair? I don't know. I don't know. I've kind of, I've kind of always been into hair, if that makes sense. I just look real powdery. I don't know. Pros and cons of being a full-time entrepreneur. Oh my gosh. I definitely, I, what was I thinking? I didn't think to like, you know, not research, but I did not think to like do these questions. Be like, you know, get my answers before I came up here. Um, Let's just list some pros. Pros is all my money is mine. I am paid what I'm worth. Um, I'm paid what I'm worth, and I think that's a plus. Like, I think that's a really big plus. I make my own hours. Um, y'all, I'm not a fan of cream makeup. I'm a fan of liquid, but not cream. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, where was I? Pros. <laughs> Pros, um, I'm paid what I'm worth. I'm my own boss. I make my own schedule. Cons? I don't know. Some cons are like you you have slow days and then you have busy days. Like some days you are, wow, y'all, I never blended my forehead. Okay. Some days you are booked to the T and then you can go weeks without having a client. And I, I think people just don't speak about that much. Like, everybody speaks about the financial freedom and the being your own boss. But nobody really talks about how you can have, like, I just went two weeks without a client. I ain't complaining because God provide and my bills was paid. But, you know, as a human, even, even having faith in God, like, as a human in general, you're going to have, like, that that little mini panic but that's why you create multiple streams of income if you can if you want or you keep a job when you're an entrepreneur but if you got a job you're not really a full-time entrepreneur makes sense okay another i wouldn't say it's a con but like something to always remember uh you are everything like when i say you are everything baby you are everything like your customer service you are the accountant you are the social media manager you are the receptionist you are the actual service provider yourself you are the complaints you are the packager you are the shipper or the shipment manager like you're everything me personally i low-key love it it can it can be worse some at times but i low-key love it so yeah there's that y'all i am not feeling the freaking i'm not feeling it um when do you want to have kids i want to have kids now okay let me not let me not let me not i'm gonna say soon i'm gonna say soon i want to have kids soon let's just keep it as soon because i'm not married yet so yeah, and I'm stuck with it, so. Do, 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 do. I want to, a boy and a girl. Um, I don't want to wait too long. Like, it's not that I want to grow up with my kids, but I do. Like, you know what I'm saying? The ones, if you, if you know, you know. If you don't, sorry. But I definitely want to, like, grow with my kids not grow up but grow with my kids because i'm 21 with no kids so i think i've made it pretty far
okay what motivates you i don't know i think i don't know god just know just knowing that i was given dominion like knowing that i have dominion if i really use my dominion you know what i'm saying uh for my christians you know what i mean it's, it's too much to get into right now but um god like just knowing that everything god has promised me i will have in its due time and i don't know i've always wanted more and i always wanted better for myself so i guess that motivates me yeah just knowing that i can do better we're gonna say that's what motivates me God motivates me and knowing that knowing that there is no limit. That's my real answer. Knowing that there is no limit and God on my side. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's really what it is. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, if I say you know I want to go I don't know. But if I say I want to do it, I can do it. Period. If you could drop a gem of financial success, what would it be? Ooh. I'm not going to say I'm like financial success guru because I'm definitely 21. I'm still young and learning. <laughs> but I'm going to say save, like always save. And I just learned I just learned something from um, Justin P. He like he pays himself the bare minimum out of his business. Or he did when he was when he first started. He paid himself the bare minimum, and he had he had accounts for the different fees as an entrepreneur. So like, you have taxes. So when you when somebody orders or they pay you for your service, you put out your taxes, you put out your whatever savings, and then you you get the rest. So basically, you get the like what's left over the scum. That's what you get. And I don't know. I just feel like that's what everybody should do save your money be wise and um still treat yourself though i'm heavy on treating myself because if nobody appreciates if nobody appreciates you if you don't appreciate yourself who will so i don't know i'm very still young i'm still young and learning but i definitely will say save your money uh definitely put up for fees and stuff like unexpected life things because life be life in, unfortunately but god gonna guide every time though in times of stress how do you stay motivated oh i think it was how do you stay motivated in times of stress sometimes i don't know i'm, I'm not gonna sit up here and act like i got it all together y'all sometimes i do get down sometimes i do get sad and i'm like bro i want to be here and i'm here but it's the simple fact that you got to get up every day and keep going it's the simple fact that, like, when you get up every day, it just just strive to be better. I don't know. In times of stress, how do you stay motivated? So, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Because I'm never going to lie to y'all. Sometimes I don't stay motivated. Like, just the other day, I, I want, y'all know I want a camera. I want a camera so bad. I think I mentioned it in every video that I don't have a camera. I want a camera. And somebody was selling theirs because they don't use it. And they wanted it for, like, dirt cheap. But the simple fact that I couldn't just drop the money they wanted, it just made me, like, I was just like, I can't even drop this because I got this, 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 and that. And that's why I'm telling y'all to save because I saved, I saved y'all, and then something unexpected life things came up and took all my savings so you know god got me though he's gonna provide every single time but it's just a simple fact that i literally could not like the simple fact me if i see something and i want it i'm gonna go get it regardless but i couldn't do that the person lived like maybe 15 20 minutes away from me and i could not drop that money to go get it because i know i got bigger things i got bills 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 like yeah so that's so sometimes sometimes i don't i don't stay motivated but at the end of the day you know when you start getting down like that like oh my god life is so hard it's like 
it's like you telling God, I don't trust you to provide. I don't trust you to come through. And that's one thing I'm never going to do because his track record is undefeated. He come through every single time. So why would I sit up here and tell him, you're not going to come through this time? I'm not going to make it. What the freak? You won't see me doing that. You will not see me doing that. I need to get this. What's the struggle you face in your walk with Christ? I would have to say it's definitely the like getting the last word or getting my I want well I want to say get my lick back because that's always like if your man cheat you cheat all that. no uh, it's more like a not being able to get the last word that's anybody who know me for life you knew me in high school I've always been real feisty at the mouth always and we're getting closer to God. God was like, yeah, you have to shut up. And I'm like, but if they come at me, I'm coming back at them because why did you come at me in the first place? You see what I'm saying? And y'all, the only reason I haven't done a, a I yet, I'm almost done with these questions, is because I really don't know what to do after this. Like, I do my lip and that'd be it. Like, I'm not the best at eyeshadow looks yet. Thumbnail, period. <laughs> That's probably not going to be the thumbnail. But so I think my biggest struggle is definitely like my attitude and like just trying to keep God in. Like I keep God in everything I do, but it's definitely just the like, I, ho I hope y'all understand what I'm trying to say. <sighs> I really hope y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Y'all, I'm just going to go on a whim and try something like. Eyeshadow has not been my best friend in makeup, but oh y'all, that is so pigmented. Can y'all see that? Okay. Can y'all see that? That is so pigmented. Period. <laughs> Period. Okay, tapping off the accent. Anyways, I think I'm gonna do the pink on the outside. Mm. Um, yeah, so it's definitely not being able to do people how they do me and just trying to be more like Jesus. Because Jesus would not um Jesus was a G though. Jesus was really a G. Like if y'all if y'all read the Bible, Jesus was really a G. Like he was that guy. But he also did everything out of love and to be more like his father. So that's you know the goal. Yep. Most oh somebody said my most toxic trait. I wouldn't say I have a toxic trait, but um before I changed my life. Or before I got with my man, first of all, before I got with my man, uh, before I got with my man, one of my most toxic traits, and I wouldn't say it was a toxic trait, but it kind of was, was definitely the, like, my guard that I had up. Um, I had game run on me so bad, like, so bad, so many times, all of that. So, um... Whenever things got to be, like, really good, I kind of used to self-tabotage a little bit. Or I would just start expecting. I would start expecting the the F up, okay? <laughs> yeah. I just, I would just literally get prepared to, like, I would mentally start preparing myself to be leaving the relationship soon. Because, I don't know, I kind of just felt like if one person could do it to me, then who who else? Like, who wouldn't do it to me? You feel what I'm saying? Um, that's very, that's kind of very toxic. So, yeah. And I'm low-key eating. <laughs> I'm low-key eating. <laughs> um, what? Oh, this, this question ate down. This question really ate down, y'all. 
what is my true passion wigs or lashes you kill both by the way and i'm not even playing about that compliment i'll put it up on the screen right here here she said i kill both thank you babe thank you so much um my true passion that's like like ever since i seen that question i have not been able to decide because my passion my passion is making girls making pretty girls feel pretty like that's my passion like every every woman is beautiful and if i can enhance your beauty and make you feel just one percent better then i've done my job then i've really done my job i know y'all can't i know y'all can't answer but y'all i just did this color which one next which one if i just did this which one? My my true passion is making pretty girls feel pretty. But if I had to pick, if I had to pick, I don't know, y'all. Because I really love doing lashes. Like, I really love doing lashes. I'll do lashes all day. But I really love wigs. So these are the two palettes that I got, y'all. Little intermission. Two Morphe palettes. Morphe. Uh, the nine one is neutral nine. They're both nine. Neutral territory. And it's because it's nine colors. So that's my new palette. Uh, It's closing. All right. And then this is the hot for hue. Um, hot for hue. And then this is the one I'm using right now. And I got these for $7.80. But I think this sale was everywhere because it was at Ulta. All nine, all nine. I think they have 40% off everything, whatever. If I had to pick, please don't hate me. I might say hair. I might, I might, I might. But I really love lashes, so book with me. Get your lashes done. And this is the other palette that I got, y'all. Um, so yeah, and I think I'm supposed to come back to a question. Fave quote you ever live by. I really don't know y'all. Um, like an all time, I don't really have like all time favorite stuff, but I do have like moments. Like I have favorites, but like a top one, I, I can't remember. My mind don't think back that far sometimes. But y'all, I think I'm gonna go there. I think I'm gonna go here. I don't know, y'all. Somebody recently said you can only aspire. Oh! I knew I was going to do some dumb stuff today. I knew I was going to do some dumb stuff today. Somebody just said you can't... You can only inspire... To what you've been exposed to so i'm starting to like pride myself on having certain experiences like you can never aspire aspire i think that's the word i don't know but you can never say i want to make i want to make ten thousand dollars in a month if you never see nobody do it you feel me so i definitely want to i mean me personally, I do aspire to do that, but I want to get out and like see more, travel more because I just want more for me. And I know that wasn't a question. I'm sorry. But I don't know. I really don't have a favorite quote. I can't answer that, y'all. I'm I might answer in another video, but I but yeah. Now y'all, I am not an eyeliner girly. I am not a mascara girly. I actually hate, I, let me not say I hate it, but I don't like mascara like that. I don't like mascara like that. It just takes 
it takes way too long to get off like it takes way too long to come out and now we're gonna make it a couple of hot I won't show y'all nothing but best gloss ever because it takes this look like you could put a clear gloss on and it still ease down but it will take this look from to <laughs> Ooh, it's already already good. yeah mm -hmm. so after this this is normally all i ever do y'all so this is all i normally do um like i said i'm not big on mascara or nothing and i'm not trying to like flex the hair but i just want to bring the look together so i do want to get into like bottom mascara but i just feel like i'm gonna uh mess it up like i'm gonna get mascara on my makeup and y'all my real lashes are so long and curly i just know mascara would eat down but i don't like having to take it off so i want normally put on lashes well not normally but it's either lashes or i put my glasses on oh snap i did not put on my setting spray mm -mm -mm. but yeah i tried to keep this video short and simple uh we see how that worked out so, um, I hope I answered all y'all questions. I hope y'all got to know me better. Um, yeah. The hair's a little flat, but it's okay. It, it hasn't been done in days. But, yeah. I hope that answered your questions. Um, I hope y'all liked, liked the video, enjoyed the video. And stay tuned because... This is kicking off vlogmas. So if I'm coming with this, just imagine what I'm coming with the rest of the month. We got 24 more days to go. Okay? Period. Hope y'all like the video. I keep saying that. Anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe. And, ooh, and I will talk to y'all later. Now, y'all, I really hope I don't look ghostly. Y'all don't... I'm going to upload the video, and y'all better not say, oh, my gosh, she looks like a ghost, because there we go with the mouth. Mm. Anyway.